Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. All right. Once again, let me make the point that Joe Biden is in a heap of trouble. Now, this is not a new thought for me, but new evidence virtually unequivocally shows that his troubles are deepening. The mainstream media only wants to talk about Donald Trump's indictments. Fine. But you can't have parallel grand juries in different geographical locations and then argue that the former president is not entitled to First Amendment free speech. That charge will never stick. But I'll tell you what else you can't have. You can't have Joe Biden picking up the phone 20 or 25 times as vice president with all sorts of crooked oligarchs on the other end of the line and actually tell the public you are just talking about the weather? Uh-uh. Ain't going to fly. House Oversight Chair James Comer, who's going to be on this program tomorrow night, just released a new batch of Biden business bank records. It shows the family received over $20 million from Russia, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan while Papa Joe was Veep. Now, I know Joe Biden has a relationship with the Weather Channel. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But I don't think anybody in the Veep's office was really all that interested in the weather in Russia, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan. This is on top of the earlier Comer unveiling of two tranches of Biden business records that came to at least 10 million bucks from various schemes in Romania and China. The weather ain't that interesting in those places either. You got nine Biden family members getting paid from foreign business influence peddling. 30 million bucks for exactly what product? Which service? Oh, influence peddling, the family business. Devin Archer, a jilted former BFF, spilled the beans about the 20 some odd phone calls and plenty of context and two dinners at Cafe Milano. Not one dinner, but two dinners full of foreign thugs meeting with Papa Joe. And get ready for Eric Schwerin, another jilted BFF, who will soon testify before the Oversight Committee about 35 or 40 visits to the White House, to the Veep's house, to all their houses. Get ready for that. Joe Biden's I didn't know anything about Hunter's business defense has been smashed. But now, with the bank records and the testimony of Biden insiders, there is no doubt that pay-for-play foreign influence peddling is a reality. Now, these are allegations, but now really turned into hard evidence. Let's not kid ourselves. Provable crimes? We'll see. Ethical violations? Absolutely. Bribery schemes? We're still waiting on that Burisma story and the 20 audio tapes. Meanwhile, just as an aside, I can't help myself, Joe Biden actually did an interview with the Weather Channel. But he didn't talk about the weather in China, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and Romania. I mean, I thought he might unburden himself explain to people his rabid interest in Chinese and Eastern European meteorology. I mean, maybe it's some hidden hobby he's had all these years. Nope. His real message was just more ultra-liberal pap about his war against fossil fuels. He says he wants to stop all drilling on the coast and in the Gulf, but the courts got in the way. Actually, he just wants to stop all drilling, period. In fact, Bidenomics is really just a ploy to destroy American energy. And if you think about it, Russia, China, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan, who all contributed to the Biden family coffers, are all producers of fossil fuels, coal, oil, and gas. Why not let them do it? That'll help bury American national security altogether, wouldn't it? For 30 million bucks, really? This is a pathetic story. You're in a heap of trouble, Joe Biden. Don't kid yourself.